Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I made a video. We're going to make a variation on Tuscan chicken, uh, sort of a cross between Tuscan chicken and Marry Me chicken. This has got a little bit of my twist. I like to add bacon. This is two strips of bacon that are sliced and chopped. We have two cloves of garlic. We've got a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, a teaspoon of oregano. We've got a half a cup of heavy cream. We've got a small chopped sweet onion, three-fourths a cup of chicken broth. This is my homemade chicken broth. We've got, uh, I have some fresh thyme from the garden. So I've got about a teaspoon of fresh thyme. We've got a half cup of sun-dried tomatoes that are chopped up. And we've got a quarter cup of uh, grated Parmesan cheese. And of course, the star of the show is the chicken. Now you can use chicken breasts with this. That would probably be easier. I'm going to use chicken legs because it's what I have on hand. And we like chicken legs anyway. We like the dark meat chicken. I have preheated my pot to sear saute. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. It should be nice and warm there now. Good, good time to add the oil. We have salt and peppered our chicken legs, and we're going to saute those. The oil is hot in the pan. I'm going to add some, uh, add some butter because I like the flavor that it imparts. And into the butter and oil, we're going to just add our chicken legs. We're going to brown these chicken legs for about three or four minutes on each side so they're a little uh, nice and nice and golden brown. Oops, almost forgot to add my bacon in. Alrighty, we've salted and peppered this other side of the chicken legs. We're going to turn them to the other side. Nice and golden on this side. They look good. And the bacon is in the cooking also. It's going to add a lot of nice extra flavor. Okay, for about another five minutes to cook on that other side. Gosh, some of these are so big. Big legs. Okay, let's come back in another five minutes or so. Once your chicken is browned on both sides, we're going to remove the chicken to the plate. Nice and brown on the other side. That is one big chicken leg. Next we're going to add our chopped onions. That's a small chopped sweet onion. Just let that saute for a minute or two. It kind of helps to deglaze your pan when the, the nice uh, onion juice comes out. Okay, now we're going to add our garlic. It doesn't need to cook quite as long as the onion does. So that's two cloves of garlic. Alrighty, next we're going to add our broth. 
The recipe calls for three fourths of a cup of chicken broth. And that will really deglaze the pot once that goes in. Next, we add our half cup of heavy cream. And then all our spices will go in. We've got our red pepper flakes, our thyme, oregano, and our dried tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes that have been chopped. So we've got all our spices in and we're going to just kind of let everything mix together here. Righty. Look at all those delicious ingredients. All my favorite things in one sauce here. Delicious. Except for there's no mushrooms. Oh well. Hey, you could make it with mushrooms. I'm sure that would be good too. Okay, now that everything's mixed very nicely together, we're going to put the chicken legs back in. And they're going to cook in here for about, about half an hour or so. I have some really fat chicken legs, so they're going to need to cook a little bit longer than I normally would. And we're just going to kind of coat this chicken in the sauce. Turn them a few times. Kind of let them get that good flavor. Coat it all over them. The only ingredient we did not put in yet is the Parmesan cheese. That's going to go in at the end. So we're going to let this cook at about 350 for about 30 minutes. Okay, it's been cooking for about 30 minutes. Looks pretty good. We are going to remove the chicken. As I said, I probably wouldn't ordinarily cook this for 30 minutes, but those are some big chicken legs. Okay, the next step is to add the parm. It's going to give it some nice cheesy flavor and thicken it up a little bit. The sauce, that is. And there you have it, ready to go. I'm gonna put some of this over pasta. You could put it over pasta, over rice, over potatoes. In our case, we have pasta and potatoes. Okay, pair that with the salad and we're ready to eat.